parents or maybe grandparents, if you have uh, kiddos that are around and uh, you were like me and maybe you like to give a book for Christmas, I have the perfect one for you here. If not you, then who? I have been reading this to my kids and uh, super excited to have the authors uh, behind this book, Emberly and David Frenham joining us this morning. And uh, 2020, we've been saying has been a crazy year and I think it's making us look at everything differently. And I think this will be a another year where just different things are invented and we, we are changing the way we live and how we do things. And this is a book to encourage more of that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about this story. It's interesting, the background that you had before uh, putting this book together. Uh, David, let's start with you because I know that this is your career. So talk a little bit about uh, inventors and the importance of inventors and then how that came to be in a children's book. Sure. Well, first, thank you. Thank you so much for, for having us. Um, the, the story of inventors is really the story of America. So if you look at uh, the, the the country and our, our bedrock documents, the Constitution, um, the the concept of patenting and inventing is built into the Constitution. The words are there, and uh, it's always been a very important concept, and it's been something that has driven our economy all the way from uh, uh, early inventions related to ferry systems and the cotton gin, all the way through the uh, to the Wright brothers, the invention of the airplane. Um, different vaccines really important in today's day and age. And what we want to do is drive home to everyone, but particularly children, uh, the fact that everything they do, everything they touch from the first uh, electric toothbrush that they use in the morning to their smartphone and tablet they use at school, to the car they ride in when they uh, go to visit a friend, um, all of that has been driven by inventors and it has a story of inventorship behind it. We want to bring those stories to families, um, especially in this in this time where a lot of families are sort of isolated. We want to really empower kids with the, with our message. And this is a book series. So this is a, a, another one, the most recent one that just came out. And Emberly, uh, as a mom myself, too, I mean, I just feel like I've maybe missed the boat on really encouraging my kids to say, hey, you know what? There are a lot of great inventions and you can do this as well. I love that this is encourages, you know, kids to look at that on, hey, what can you invent? What would make your life easier? Right. So tell us, I guess, that we're looking at the, the pages of the book here. How do you have everything? How did you put this together? So funny story is my husband and I, we always just wanted to write a children's book together. And people have always asked us, what does your husband do for a living? And their eyes would kind of gaze over when I would tell them. And we all be we all look confused. So we decided to write a children's book about it that explained the importance of inventing. And we realized how important it is to teach our children and spark their creativity at a young age, as well as teaching them to be innovative and teaching them to be creative bringing it to market, working with others, and inspiring them, our children, to dream big. And that's where I feel like I haven't done that with my kids as much. I haven't said, hey, look, guys, you can invent something. So again, I love that this is what this focus is on. But there is kind of a story theme throughout this and how um, the little girl and the little boy kind of get to know and how you're able to put in all these inventions throughout the years, um, you know, to kind of make it one big cohesive story. Oh yeah, absolutely, and that's that's the whole idea. And when you when you start, to, you really until you start peeling back the the onion, so to speak, you you don't appreciate how everything has um, has an inventing story behind it. So, uh, I think one of the examples we use in our book is the safety pin. Um, literally, someone invented that. That is something, and we all think it's always been there, and maybe it has for some of us. But there is a, an inventorship story behind it. The zipper on a pair of uh, blue jeans uh, has an inventorship story behind it. And, and really what we want to uh, show our families is the fact that um, the, these uh, children who are reading our books and who are out there uh, are uh, going to be the next uh, series of inventors in this country. And who knows what they're going to uh, they're going to come up with. But we love with our children to sit down and talk with them about their ideas and their thoughts and uh, everything from a pulley system up to a treehouse to uh, the the next way to to uh, be able to get ready for uh, school quickly in the morning. Um, who, who knows what they'll uh, what they'll uh, come up with? 
Well, you know what I what I want to invent is a TV series on these books. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I want to see more. But until then, I don't know, maybe maybe something will come up soon. Uh, where can people get their hands on the books? Well, they can go to our website, ifnotyoubooks.com, and we have uh, these two books available in a bundle. We also have another book coming out for the holidays that'll be part of a future bundle. And uh, our Instagram handle is at ifnotyoubooks, and we're always doing promotions. We're looking to get these books out to school districts and yeah. in the hands of teachers and, and families. And again, maybe maybe on TV one day. Well, guys, that congratulations nice. on a Very wonderful nice. book series. I think it's a great holiday gift idea, and uh, we really appreciate your time. Let's check, let's check back in later, okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we, of course, will put all the details on our website.